Hey, it's Rick. Coming at you with another video. This is gonna be good. So we're gonna be talking about why I hate web developers. I must be saying, Rick, why would you say that you hate web developers? Like your entire channel is based on that. Why would you, why would you even say such a thing? Why would you even come up with the, that idea? Well, <laughs> let, let me let me rewind back a little bit. When I say why I hate all web developers is because they are literally one tool away from being jobless. You did hear that correctly. One tool away from being jobless. And the crazy thing about that, the people that are gonna be developing those tools are gonna to be engineers, they're gonna be scientists, they're gonna be the hardcore people that are out there uh, trying to make that a reality. Now, my hope and aspirations is for me to be able to train those people that are actually going out and creating those tools. And if you're not thinking about uh, the process of you getting rid of your job, the process of automating your job away, you are essentially failing as a programmer. You really are. So the idea that I want to share with you today is start thinking about how you can go about creating a tool, creating a resource, creating something that will get rid of your job. So this is if you are a web developer, how can you start thinking about a process for you to be able to eliminate your job completely? You know, say, well, Rick, why in the world would you want to do that? I mean, that's your job. Why would you want to get over your job? It took you forever to get this job. You had to go through the interview. You had to do all these different things. Why would you want to get rid of it? And that is just the nature of our profession. That is your job. That is the thing you were brought on to do. And a lot of people are going to disagree with that. There's going to be a lot of disagreement, you know, as far as, like, why would you even uh, consider that? And it is something that you should be thinking about because the, our, our field and specifically what we do, everything's constantly changing and because things are constantly changing, that is uh, something that uh, change is always constantly on the move. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and recommend your book. Uh, the book I'm gonna recommend you is called Who Moved My Cheese? And I remember I read this book uh, back when I was in college and it's a really good book because it gives you the idea of of like uh, when things change what do you do in that change and here I can see probably in the next five years there's gonna be a lot of web developers without a job and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how people adapt to that change and if you want to know about how to get a, a process in a system and and the right ideology for you to be able to start anticipating and be able to move forward with change check out that book who moved my cheese? I'll link it below. I'll drop you guys a link below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But it's a really short read, probably like 80 to 100 pages. It should only take you a couple of hours to get through it, and it's super easy. It's a really good story, too. So, there you guys have it. Why I hate web developers. Now you guys know. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.